Hi everyone, Jeanette here with Vivo Vintage Designs. I've been away for a while, but I'm back and I'm hoping to focus more on my painting. I've missed it. So today I wanted to create something um, a little different. So I'm going to use a couple of blues to create a background. And the first thing I'm going to do, by the way, this is a Kirkland photo paper. And I'll be using my heat gun, rather my blow dryer, maybe my airbrush. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. I'm going to spray my paper with a little alcohol so that the inks move nicely to create my background. I'm going to put down a couple of different blues. And the colors that I'm using are stonewashed, denim, and this is aquamarine. And I think I'm going to use a fan brush just to move it around a little bit. And of course, I never clean my brushes, so I never know what's going to be on it when I put it to the paper. But since I'm trying to create kind of like a sky background. I think any color will be fine. So now I'm just moving it back and forth, trying to get some of the ink off and alcohol off the paper now. And I'll use my blow dryer on the low setting to start drying this up a little. Now that it's completely dry, I'm going to put it on high so that I can kind of flatten my paper a little bit. Now I'm going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of different browns to create a branch. So I'm going to need a brush, make some room here. Actually, I have some brown in my uh, dry palette, so I'm going to use that.
I like when my branches go off the paper. I think it makes it more interesting. So I'm just going to follow through right off the paper. And for those of you who are not familiar with a dry palette, this is what it is. It's got all these little wells and you put your ink into each well, let it dry, and then you reactivate the ink with a um, with alcohol on a in a brush, and it allows you more control than just putting the ink down on the paper without it. The links to all the products used in this video will be listed in the description box just below the video. So you can take a look at that if you have any questions regarding the products that I've used. And you can always drop a comment below and I'll get back to you if you have any questions. I need something over here. Okay, I think that's sufficient. Just going to thicken up some of these branches. Okay, that's good. I'll just clean this brush. So what I had in mind was to blow out some flowers, but now that I'm looking at my branches, I am rethinking if that's what I want to do. What I wanted to do was to put down some, a drop of ink. Let's see, what color is this? Senorita Magenta, let's try um, Wild Plum instead. Let's see where this goes. I'm going to put down one drop of color. Put my dryer on the low setting. Dry that. Then I'm going to put down a drop of alcohol and move that around a little bit.
think maybe I'll use a couple of different pinks. Um, this one is raspberry. So I'm going to put a couple of drops here and there. And this is the wild plum. Oh no. Okay, there we go. I'm going to let that spread a little bit, do its thing, and then I think I might add a little yellow just for some contrast. Let me dry this. I'll just put a drop of yellow. Put a drop of yellow in this one also. And go back and dry it. But what I think I may do also, just to add a little foliage, is I'm going to put a little bit of green on here. Maybe a couple of different greens. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm going to put a little um, lemonade. A little meadow. And I'm just putting it on one corner. I think I'll use a little oregano as well. If I can open it. So hopefully you can see I'm just putting it in this corner of the stamper. And I'm not going to uh, add any alcohol. I'm just going to touch it to the paper. Maybe I should, just to soften it up a little bit. So I put a little drop of alcohol on there. I'm going to try it out here. Now it looks like a mess now, but it'll all come together like it always does. And I'm turning my stamper so that I don't get a pattern since I only used one corner. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the dryer and the alcohol and I'm going to set it on low again, put another drop here to move some of that yellow around. And I'm just moving it in and out.
Okay, I'm going to continue with this and then I'll come back and show you the results. Okay, I'm, I'm working on my last flower now, putting draw, down a drop of alcohol and just moving it around kind of in a circular motion, in and out. It's been raining here. I'm in New Jersey and it's been raining here for the past week non-stop. Although I was out of state, it was still raining. So, um, this rain is not conducive to alcohol inks and airbrushing. So I, that's why I thought I'd try something a little bit different today. All right, so now I have my flowers, and they're not any particular type of flower. It's just um, kind of impressionistic, I guess. Now I'm going to, I like the way this yellow brightened up the center of these flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a little of the sunshine yellow on my dry palette, and I'm going to use my brush to add a little bit more of that yellow into the center of these flowers. But first I'm going to have to remove some of the other color that's in there. Once I've done that, I can go back and brighten up that yellow. Maybe what I should do first is clean my brush and remove some of the color. that's already in the center so that when I add the yellow it looks brighter. I'm happy with that. So this is pretty simple. As you saw, I just used the brush with some brown from my dry palette and created the branches. I used my Ranger Stamper to create the foliage and um, the flowers. There's nothing um, difficult about those. It's just a drop of alcohol, move it back and forth, try and keep a little bit of control so it doesn't spray out all over your paper. But that's it. And I may actually use a Posca pen to add a little bit of detail in the center of these flowers by putting some dots in. Just a couple of little dots. Just to brighten it up a little bit. And that's it. 
All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, all the products used in this video will be posted in the description box just below. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.